Good morning, ladies and gents. Guess Gex here doing a we're slightly, slightly unsettling and, and marginally worried um, game here. I've, I've, I've never played this before, and I'm not really into the whole anime kind of IAR kind of uh, scene, should we say. So, yeah, this this was recommended to me um, by a friend of mine called Sophia, who's actually completed it. Um, and she, she, she said that it's okay. I've got a feeling it's one of these that you probably wouldn't want your other half walking down on you while you're playing. But anyway, we're going to give it a go. It's some... Oh, I anyway, we'll find out exactly what it's about. Um, but yeah, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a, a, a wacky one with slightly, slightly adult theme. Okay. Jump into the story and take on the missions awaiting them. Okay, uh, sweet chocolate added to customizable lingerie. Yeah, this is what I was slightly worried about. Oh god. Um, whoa, that's a very sensitive stick. That's what she said. Um, we'll just jump into the story because I don't really know what I'm doing. So we, well, anyway, we'll leap into this. If it's really cringy and awkward, mail announcer. I'm, I probably won't do very much of this, but we'll see. But anyway, I've, I've heard that it is quite janky in terms of the controls as well. News 1616, good day. This is News 1616, bringing you all of this afternoon's hottest news. Uh, your host for today will be myself, Mimizuku and Sugomi. As you can see, today's program is different from your regular schedule, regularly scheduled viewing. It's been rather cold as of late. I hope you're all staying toasty uh, and warm. Sorry, um, I've got notifications on the, on the PC. Um, we might uh, have some first-time viewers in the audience today. Uh, maybe you want to calm it down a little? Oh, God, it is going to be exactly like what I'm expecting. Let's kick things off with today's hottest scoop. Scoop of the century. Uh, you're just going to continue, huh? I don't know who would say what then, to be honest. Oh god, oh no. I think there's going to be a lot of story to this, a lot of storytelling, and probably not a lot of gameplay, but we'll see. Oh, what could this be? Uh, this is a scoop of the century. Uh, is, just what I said, scoop of the century. Um, is this some kind of movie? We have girls battling against giant women. Really? See, I played a couple of the Senran Kagura games, and they were kind of enough for me, so we'll see how this goes on, but anyway. No, you've got that backwards. The girls are the tiny ones. What? Shoot with the ZR button. The tiny infiltrating alien versus the yoga-loving earthling. What is happening? Shoot with the ZR button. Suppress the rampaging earthling, I think that says. Oh right, these small girls are part of an alien special forces unit. They say their mysterious weapons fire happy bullets. Okay, they bring happiness to earthlings. They'll face many dangerous missions, but I have faith they'll make it through. Ah, indeed. Apparently this time only it's impossible for them to lose. Okay. Oh, this time only it's impossible for them to lose. Let's get right to it. Have you made your preparations? Are you ready? Not really. Shoot with the ZR button. Okay. I'm assuming this is going to be a tutorial thing. Types of auras. Badump, badump. Sparkle, sparkle. Sweaty, sweat. Okay. And gloomy, gloom. You can destroy them with bullets. Watch your timing when dodging. If you're hit by an aura, you'll take damage. Even the heart shape one. Okay. If you take four hits, you'll get a game over. In this instance, you won't get a game over. When you run out of bullets, pick up items to replenish. Oh, the Earthlings, worries and stresses. Okay, so those four auras are the sort of the the negative emotions and feelings of the Earthlings. Okay. This is this is gonna this is gonna be a very uh, cringy game. I can see it coming because, as I say, I'm not into the whole anime kind of thing. Cute I A R. What in the hell? Pacification start. Whoa! These spec it all these controls are sen sensitive. Okay, I can't get over there. Oh god! Okay, I need to avoid those are the badump badump. Okay, I'm really not sure about this. Do I just hang on, hang on, hang on, that's way too sensitive. Hang on. Config. Retire. Um try that. It did seem very That's a bit better. Whoa! Okay, so this, this, the girls doing yoga, oh my god, I can shoot them, I see, I see. Girls doing yoga and I'm supposed to shoot the girl? What's happening? Oh god, oh god. Can I shoot her in the face? Yes. Oh, endorphins activated. Oh, this is going to get very cringy very quick. Am I supposed to be, unbelievable, am I supposed to be shooting particular things? Okay, so I shot her in the back. Eek! 
endorphin secreting again. Didn't we say that before? Oh, tits, there's loads of no! I forgot I'm not supposed to pick them up, am I? I keep thinking, because they're heart-shaped, like in most games, she's actually doing proper yoga poses. I'm stuck on something, because, um, yeah, heart things are normally good. Endorphins expanding. Oh, God. I'm going to have my housemates asking what the hell's going on in here in a minute. No! Get away from me, heart-shaped thing. That jump is really bad, I've got to say. Really terrible. Can I get on... Have I got limited ammo? Because it didn't seem to run out. I wonder if I can get onto furniture. What's this thing? I don't know what that does. Where's this next point? Does that mean I'm not supposed to be shooting that point? How do I... Huh. Nice! Jeez, it's still really like... Endorphins exploding. It's still really twitchy. Uh oh, what's happened? Oh, did I did I done it? I think I done it. B Tan. How the heck did our mission end up like this? Who's B Tan? Was that one of the announcers? A few days ago. Yeah, this is going to be like ninety percent story, isn't it? So this this won't be for everyone. In fact, okay. The universe, an infinite black expanse, containing a sea of countless twinkling stars. Among those stars is planet Pandemo. Okay. It sits at the very forefront of the universe with its long history and advanced sciences. Yet Pandemo is currently facing an existential crisis. Its society no longer cares about more than the individual. Bonds are not formed, children are not born, and planet Pandemo finds itself drifting towards its impending doom. That's not good. Knowing that something needed to be done, Pandemo dispatched a single spacecraft. Uh, the ship houses two membo members, members of the Commandos, the name of Pandemo's special forces. They currently find themselves heading to a certain planet, where they hope to obtain data that will reverse Pandemo's fortunes. Its crew may seem atypical. A mere two soldiers, both considered failures at the military academy. Yes. Okay. Uh, code name Usamiel, code, oh, Private Usamiel, code name Bitan. A girl overflowing with energy who has numerous order violations to her name. Uh, code name Cameriel, uh, code name Camipon. A calm, composed girl who is not known for being flexible. Right. But they have been chosen for good reason. Uh, the fact they can build international relations enough to call each other friends is something rare on Pandemo. Oh, pers interpersonal relations, sorry. Uh, these two small girls have been tasked with saving their home planet. Uh, and the name of their squad is Pixie, Pixie Team. Pixie. Team. Oh my God! This yeah. This is not something you'd want to plan the train with somebody looking over the seat behind you, is it? Training Pixie Team. Roll out. Yeah. So this is tutorial. I'll probably do about an hour of this and edit it down to half an hour or so. Just we'll, we'll take out the uh, best bits in inverted commas. B Tam. We're almost there. We're almost. We've almost reached Earth. Uh, gets you excited, doesn't it, b -tan? I knew you'd understand the importance of this mission. Of course I do. I mean, those earthling girls are super duper cute. Oh god, my heart almost exploded when they showed me the reference materials. Okay, it was stupid of me to expect anything of anything of you. Huh? You were? You were really expecting something of me, Kamebon? Geez, you should have just said so. If you say you want to do it, then it's totally fine by me. Uh, okay. I hope this doesn't get too graphic, because I'm not going to be able to put it on YouTube. I haven't actually seen whether there are videos of this already on YouTube. Uh, what are you talking about, you little... Dang rabbit! Not my ears. What? Anything but my ears, Camus. I have no idea what's going on. What are the two of you doing now? C Commander Almaz, sir, how long have you been on the line? Oh, Commander, listen to this. Cameron's being really mean to me. Tell her to be nicer, please. If all you're doing is playing around, then we can bring you back to planet Pandemo this instant. You can't do that. We must repay the debt we owe you for taking us in. Yeah, that's right. And I want to see those cute earthling girls right now. Shut it, B. So B Tan is presumably the more playful. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a sodding fly right in front of the screen. Get away! God damn it! Downside to summer. Um, yeah, sorry. So B Tan is obviously the kind of playful, flirty one, and Camo Pon is the other one. Uh, very well. I choose you for this mission, knowing your personalities very well. You'll be permitted to take a break if you can complete your mission. 
Uh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. I'll be sure to have... I'll be sure to have a word with B-Tan later. Boo! You know I'm taking this mission very seriously. It's just I have my own super important missions too. <laughs> I must steal the hearts and bodies of both the Earthling girls and Kamepon. Oh my god. Stop that now. Ow, ow, ow! I told you not the ears. What's she doing to her ears? She's not apparently touching her, and yet... I don't know what's going on here. Good grief. Yeah, good grief indeed. Oh my god. I think from what Sophia said about this, that there are uh, girls in rather compromising positions in this. Uh, I'm just making I'm just making sure here, but you two do understand the true purpose of this mission, correct? Of, of course we do. If our planet keeps on deteriorating, then society as we know it will be wiped out. To improve our own society, we're going to research how the inhabitants of Earth live and then feed that information back to our planet, I think. Uh, you know, I've always thought our society was a bit weird. No one seems interested in people around them, and they're far too disinterested in the girls. Uh, and you're far too interested in them. See, my, I should say, my friend Sophia is, uh, well let's just say she prefers the company of ladies to, uh, to gentlemen, so that's probably influences why she likes this game so much, but anyway. Huh? But, um, but you come with me everywhere I go, Cameo Pond. I can't be that bad. I wouldn't if I had a choice. Boo! You meanie. The relationship between you was why everyone considered you failures at mid military academy, but it was also the biggest reason you got this mission. It was? Hmm. We live in a self-interested generation. Those who achieve success on their own are praised for it. Uh, rarely do you see them bonding with others, like you have. But it's my belief that not needing others doesn't necessarily make you independent. Uh, you do understand that instinctively. I have high hopes for your investigation into the earthling way of life. Yes, sir! That's what I wanted to hear. Now, onto the subject of your investigation. There girls! Correct, uh, but please wipe the drool from your mouth. Uh, this is just so exciting. We're about to infiltrate a location just filled with girls. Uh, not that it'll do you any good. Earthlings differ vastly in size to us pandemonians. Pandemonians, I like it. Apparently by as much as a factor of ten. D does that mean their rooms are also ten times bigger? Why do you always worry about things that don't matter? Yeah, there's apparently are there are some of the missions in this are apparently quite serious. They do with things like eating disorders and bullying and stress and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, we shall see. Oh, look over there. Uh, that's that's Earth. This is the start of your mission, Pixie Team. Uh, the country you're infiltrating has enacted the independence policy. Those separated from their parents this way are then advised to live in dorms. A place where complete strangers gather under one roof to live together. A most suitable place for our investigation, I must say. Precisely, the dorm you'll be infiltrating is a girls only dorm known as Lilypad. Uh, your first task is to get inside Lilypad and set up a base of operations. Roger. And Roger them. Roger the girls. Oh wow, okay. Am I supposed to press something? Okay. So we're we're at Lily. That must that must say Lily Pad. I'm assuming. So it's basically like a sorority, sort of. Oh well, no, I suppose it's more like a dorm. Because I think there's only three girls in it. I think. Hmm. But yeah, like I say, there are some apparently some quite sort of serious and. Um... Oh. We made it. Wait, what? We're already inside a room. Done. The warp coordinates must have been off. Oh, God, it's... Seriously? W what are we meant to do now? Don't panic. First we need to get back to our ship. It should be just through that door. Wowie, that's one massive door. The dorm students might find us if we hang about. Oh, so we've got to... Oh, it's a stealth game as well. Oh, no. You can press plus button to the pause menu, current objective. Blah, blah, blah. You can move the camera with the right stick. I, 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 I know that. Moving the left stick with the Y button pressed will cause you to dash. Okay. You can jump by pressing B. Jump while dashing will allow you to jump even further. Ah, I see. Okay, uh, when you want to move under someone like a TV stand, uh, press down on the directional pad to crawl. Stand back up, press down again, or press any of the other buttons. Okay, so that's... Oh, I see. Oh, God. Okay, uh, dashing is... Okay, I see. Any collectibles in here? Anything to do? It's just... I mean, this is kind of cool. The idea that you're kind of moving around... I wonder if that poster is something... proper. I like the cat one as well. Um... Yeah, what, I mean, it's kind of cool that you've got this. Reminds me a bit of the old micro machines thing. The guide will be displayed 
uh, when you stand in front of the large door, if you press the A button, you will leave the room. When moving about inside a room, there will be places other than by the door where the guide is displayed. Try searching the ball. Okay, I, don't, I know where I'm supposed to go out the door. Juice! Juice! Can I? I take it there's no fall damage. Edom! Oh, okay, this must be one of the dorm girls. Two of the dorm girls. Misatori, sis, I know you're in here. Oh, they're sisters, okay. Mm. What's got you all ruffled, Misa? Misa, so hungry! You hung Sorry, I should. I, I apologize for the Jar Jar Binks reference. You hungry? No, unlike you, I don't need to be eating all day. Ah, now I wonder if that's the one that's got the eating disorder, because apparently one of them has got an eating disorder. Um, eating all day to feel satisfied. And anyway, you yanked my PC's power cord out of the wall again, didn't you? Thanks to that, my PC won't turn back on. And to make matters worse, all my progress in the game I was testing... Oh, the game dev devs! Yes, because they, they look like game devs. Was testing, got erased. <clears throat> Give me back my time. Is that another of your lewd games? Regardless, Misa, you fell asleep in front of your computer. It was wasting electricity. I don't really understand computers, but isn't it possible you just haven't plugged it back in yet? Gah, how can you be so stupid? You're not a caveman, sis. You should at least know how computers work. This doesn't change the fact you're wasting electricity. Now, now, uh, why don't you eat something? You'll be much less cranky with a full stomach. The only one whose mood improves through eating is you. Oh god, there's another one. My, my, what's going on with you two? Amayo Sato. Get up. Ah, Ama. Listen to this. Sis just erased all of my game data. It's her fault for falling asleep at the computer. Hmm, are you two having a siblings, a siblings quarrel? I like it again. Alrighty then, just leave it to the big girls. Huh? Leave what to you? Misa's game data got erased, right? So then I'll just play the game up to the point she was at. Now you two don't need to be fighting anymore, right? Huh? Well, uh, Amma, I think Misa's game might be a bit too much for you. I mean, it has those scenes in it. Oh, God. Please tell me we don't have to play the game, because I can imagine. See, I'm not opposed to the, uh, let's just say... A bit of graphical content in games, but I find that with these anime type of things, it's just very, very cringy. But yeah, I'm by far I'm not a prude, but I just find it really cringy because they're just like this weird cartoony kind of thing. But anyway, so uh, I don't know. We, we'll see what we have to do. Hee <laughs> hee, don't worry. I'll have you know I'm actually pretty good at games. Uh, this is definitely a genre you've never played before, and there are other problems too. It's fine, leave it to me. I'm the oldest one in the dorm, after all. I'm gonna go get started then. I'll just head right to your room, Misa. But please wait. Hmm? What is it? Uh, oh, oh yeah, actually, the whole thing about my data being erased was a total lie. It was? You were lying? Yeah. It didn't sound like you were lying, though. No, 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 I totally was. I was just trying to make Sis treat my PC with a bit more care. So there's no need for you to do anything at all, since my data wasn't even erased in the first place. My, my. Well, if you say so. Misa, your data was actually erased, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But what else could I say? I couldn't let Amayo play a game like that. True, it might be a little too adult for her. I'll treat your computer with much more care from now on, so things don't get this bad again. And I'll try and make sure I don't fall asleep in front of the PC again. Hee <laughs> hee! Hmm, whoa! Amma, you're way too close! D did you hear what we were talking about just now? Nope! But it's good to see you two whispering. It shows how close you are. I'm glad you've made up. Family really shouldn't fight. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Abba. Uh, that was kind of embarrassing. Misa, where are you going? I'm going to go buy some snacks to eat while I'm gaming. Do you do want anything? Uh, I'll... Now, now, you're on a diet, Abba. You shouldn't be having snacks. Uh, oh, you meanie kid. Uh, what is she on a diet? She oh, anyway. Haha, <laughs> I'll be getting back to my room then. Thank you for that, Abba. Yes, thank you, Amayo. I'll be off shopping now. Okay, see you later. Uh, now then, I guess I should clean my room. Do I actually get to do something in a minute? Here we go. It seems there was a fight here. Uh, hee hee B, what is it? Amayo Sato, the sweet older sister type. Kira Tori, the dumbish boyish type. Misatori, the nerdy type. There's just so many choices. Quit talking rubbish to help me find a place to set up our base. All right, we have to set up our love nest. Uh, right, time to set up a single-person base then. Oh, I was joking. I'm going to help too. Wait up, Kamepon. Okay, so we need a base first. Oh, we're in the kitchen now. And done. Oh, they're in the box. I see it on top of the cupboard. 
Although, all we really did was camouflage the ship, and right on top of a refrigerator, no less. Well, it might be a bad location, but at least it's stealthy. I could probably live here, although it's not quite good enough to be our love nest. You're still going on about that. It seems you managed to set up your base securely. Ah, Commander. Yes, infiltration and base construction have proceeded without a hitch. Uh, wonderful. Uh, then we'll move on to your practice mission at once. We need to practice? Of course! Uh, you may have memorised the information given to you, but you'll get nowhere without real experience. In particular, the happy bullets we've supplied you are difficult to understand until you see them in action. Think of this as a restaurant, or firing practice. I think they mean test run rather than restaurant, but anyway. Happy bullets. Well, they say they bring happiness to the earthlings they're fired at, so the name is rather literal, but bringing happiness is a rather vague expression, isn't it? That's why you need to practice. You are currently situated in the Mayo Sato's room. Yes, in the kitchen to be precise. Right then, Pixie Team, your practice mission is to shoot a dorm student with happy bullets. Who it is, exactly does not matter. Okay, we've infiltrated a girl's room and now we get to do whatever we want. This is so exciting. I'm sure this goes without saying, but you mustn't allow the dorm students to detect you. What do these walls have ears? Is that an earthling saying? I see you've done your homework, but Kamepon, if you could run things by her once again. Yes sir, according to the galactic peace laws, planets that haven't reached a certain level of advancement are not to know about life from other planets. If we get discovered here, we could have the galactic detectives coming down on us. Utmost caution is required. Leave it to us. Being worried about getting caught always gets me more fired up. b tan you're awful. Kamepon, I leave the rest to you. Yes sir. Alrighty, let's do this. Here we go, we actually get to do a mission. Mission start. Okay, so... I'm assuming there's probably going to be more more aspects and obstacles involved as we go through the game, but... Ah, so we get to choose where we want Kiri or Amayo. Um, I can't remember whose is whose. I'm just looking at the layout of the room to see which one looks better. We'll start with this one, it looks a bit simpler. Kira! See, so all we got to do is go in and shoot them with happy bullets. I, th I say, I think we've got to find collectibles and also piece together stories and, and things, information about them, based on what we find in their room. Oh god! Pixie team, have you found your targets? Are we playing as both of them or just one? Yes, of course. Wow, they look so intimidating up close. Wait, don't get any closer. It's too dangerous. That. It. Uh, that it is. One important thing to bear in mind is that the gravity on Earth is different from Pandemo. First you must get a grasp on how to move around. Hurry towards the glowing points I've set up for you. Whoa! What? what? I'm gonna get spotted if I go in here. Be careful not to enter the dorm student's field of view. If they become aware of you, you fail the mission. If you do enter their field of view, hold completely still. Deceive them. Once they've let their guard down, you can resume, resume moving. I see, so we have to act like stone by the side of the road. A stone. Deceiving these dorm students might be surprisingly easy. If you enter a dorm student field of view, uh, when oh, field of view, the maiden center is activated. Staying in a red field of view will cause the gauge to slowly rise. Okay, maiden center detected you. Press left or right to pull a pixie pose. <laughs> okay. But why would? Okay. How do I? Nice. Why well, would they not still be a bit curious as to what this pixie thing is? Your current location is considerably close to a dorm, dorm student. Even if you're outside the field of vision, there is still the danger of them hearing you. Be it through your footsteps or your gunfire. To proceed with that sound, you must crawl. Oh. Yeah, I know how to. Oh my god. This is a teeny tiny bit cringy. Uh, huh? What's this? Oh, we found a coin. Oh, get Oh, nice. Take a good look. There's a special provision from HQ. If you find them, you can take them for your own. Nice. We get money. Hooray! An allowance. He's digging out pick coins. P coins related to our training. Oh, nice. Okay, and then I don't know what we energy capsules replenish. If we only replenish the bullets of the character who picks them up. Okay. okay, I wonder where we get to use them for. Oops, jumping. I missed that. Understood. I'll bounce around like a kangaroo. Surely you mean a rabbit. Cut the idle chatter. Okay. Oops. Get up. Huh. Nice. Did I need that? Huh? Did I? Oh no, there it is. Okay. We've arrived at the sniping point. Okay. What's with this power welling? Oh no. b going to love all this, isn't she? Power welling up in her. Hmm. That point is considered is powered by Feng Shui. Shooting from that position will enlarge your happy bullets. Um. Okay. 
Yeah, it may be temporary, but the power required is tremendous. This is why I le led you to it. You can even repair damage to your suit here. Oh, we can get damage to our suit. Okay. Uh, I hope we find a lot more of these points in this dorm. We could discuss that later. I wish I had a jetpack. would be cool to get around the room. You need to focus on the task at hand. Think back on your shooting practice. Do not fire at random. Uh, you can press X button to activate your scope. While looking through the scope, you can check how much you've hit certain. Okay, sometimes using your scope to view empty parts of a room can lead you to finding hidden things. Okay. I will not fire at random. If by any chance you run out of ammo, we will supply you with more. However, we cannot be certain where the item drops will land, so you will need to search. Okay. Okay, let me just get on with this. Oh god, I see. Okay, so th way, so this is my... Jeez, so sensitive. How much am I supposed to... Oh, I see. I see the percentage thing filling up. Oh my god, it's so sensitive. Why are, like, these things flying out of her? I'm going to run out of ammo before I get to... Oh no, maybe not. I can't see the fire anymore. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. What happens when you... Look at the face! Hanyan Puran. Yes, it worked. Uh, what's Ms. Kira's status? Uh, Fanya, this feels kind of good. I hope Mr. and Alma feel like this when they eat my cooking. Oh, Ms. Kira is good at cooking, is she? I'd like to try some. Honestly, I'm not even sure if Earth food will taste nice to us, but no matter what Ms. Kira's food tastes like, I want to eat it. You're drooling again. Sorry, but you know, it's because we've been living off rations for so long, I just want some good food. You sure it's not because you get as horny as a rabbit at the mere mention of girls? Hmm, well I haven't started drooling when looking at you lately, Kami Pon. <gasps> Rude. Oh, I get it. It must be because your charm as a girl has been dropping la- Oh, ow. We were able to find out how the happy bullets work. Let's go back. I think I taste blood. Oh, she slapped her. Nice. <laughs> Rude. Well, that was a quick mission. Again, these are still tutorials. Uh, good work. It appears you succeeded in your practice mission. Oh, it's a scream through that. Mm, I trust you will use them wisely as you carry out your investigation on these dorm inhabitants. So, yes, sir. I never thought things could be so great, Kamepon. Now I can peep on Miss Amaya, Miss Kira, Miss Misa, and all the other beautiful girls as much as I like. Uh, when they've let their guard down at home, when they're all dressed up to go out, I get to see it all. This job makes us the happiest pixies ever. Don't lump me in with you. I'm terribly sorry, Commander. I'll give her a talking to later. Make sure you do, Kamepon. And b -tan? You mentioned seeing the girls as they're going out, but I advise both of you not to take one step outside of the dorm. <gasps> Why not? That's just weird. Commander, b -tan actually has a point here. Should we not see what life is like outside the dorm to get a full model for our investigation? Don't you want to know what Miss Amayo is up to outside of the dorm? That's just what you want to do. Remember our mission here. Uh, while you remain in that dorm, you remain within the range of the life support systems on your ship. However, this planet cannot be naturally inhabited by us pandemonians. If you leave that dorm, you'll die within several minutes. If that is what you wish, I will not stop you. But I'm going to stay in this dorm the whole time. Hmm, I'm glad you learned so quickly. Well, the mission will be watching Girls 24-7, so I'll just have to flirt with Camipon while the dorm students are out. Yes, you do that. Huh? Camipon? Have you finally admitted your feelings? Yes, flirt with more you wish. I hope your ears are ready to find out just what will happen if you start chit-chatting during a mission. Ah, uh, there's no need for that. Uh, you don't have to hold back. Anyway, now that's decided, how about we head back to the field base? Dang, rabbit, forgive me. I suppose I'm glad to see you getting along well. You'll spend the next half a year here, oh my god, doing daily investigations and sending daily reports back. I'm sure there'll be other missions for me to give you as time goes by, but other than that, you may do as you please. Yes, sir, I'll make sure to get it all done and try and correct B-Tan's personality while I'm at it. Oh, my happy Earth life is being ruined. I have high expectations of you two. Farewell for now. Right then, this may be abrupt. We need to study up on our Earth culture, B-Tan. Um, what? I haven't even gone rummaging through Mr. Maya's underwear drawer yet. We need to study. Yes, ma'am, I'll do my best. Oh, God. I hope there isn't a mission where you actually have to go rummaging through an underwear drawer. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do it. Nice, no damage, hit rate 100%, sweet. Obtained a Bitcoin bonus of 1,000, sweet. So I presume, because I did see something about shop. Yes, we'll save. I did see something about shop in there, so... Uh, okay, what? There we go. First order. The first order. Probably not... I have saved, haven't I? 
Okay, okay, I'm slightly confused. I was just, I, th I thought it wasn't saving or something. A foul smell runs right in the door. Find the source. Oh. <coughs> There's a lot of reading in this. Uh, ugh, I think I'm going to throw up. Oh, did you eat too much again? No, that's not it. Have you been scavenging for food? Honestly, Kira, you're going to give yourself an upset tummy. I may like food, but I'll have you know I don't pick up scraps off the pavement. Uh, the problem here is the smell. See, in my uh, see, when I lived at uni, I was I lived in halls with, well, it was me, one other guy, and seven girls, and the apartment, the the halls always smelled really nice because it was mostly girls because obviously they tend to take care of the place a bit more and and just generally smell better. What smell? Uh, you mean the sickly sweet smell? I've been smelling it all over the dorm for the past few days. Sickly sweet. I wonder if that's somebody been smoking weed. Uh, why does it bother you? I can smell last night's curry mixed in with it. It's really... Oh! Ah, oh, is it someone's been vomiting? Uh, I'm not as sensitive to smells and tastes as you are, sis. Ugh, that's not fair. Blech. I wonder what's causing that smell. I don't know. It doesn't smell like cooking, that's for sure. Kira, are you okay? Yeah, don't worry, Emma. Wait, am I the only one affected by this? I'm going back to my room. I probably feel better after some rest. Blink! And there she goes. Well, she said herself that we uh, we don't need to worry about her. I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, a little bit weird. Ah, so now we've got to track down the source of the smell. An uproar over a mysterious offensive smell. Uh, what do you think, B? B? Sniff, sniff, sniff. What are you doing? Sniffing as hard as I can to try and find out what you smell like. What? But I can't smell a thing. Of course you can't, us pandemoniums don't have a sense of smell, unlike most other races, earthlings included. Those earthlings are so lucky, the sense of smell lets you know how things nearby taste, right? I want to know how you... <laughs> I want to know how you taste, Kame Bond. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Stop sniffing, it's gross, but there is something, some reasoning behind what you say. If we had a sense of smell, it would be all too easy to find out what's causing this stench. There's a bad smell, is there? C Commander? Hey, Commander! You've been getting in contact a lot lately. I take it you're not very busy. B, don't be rude to the Commander. Don't worry, Kamipon. But I would like to hear your report on the smell. Of course, a little while ago we overheard a conversation in the lounge. Or to be more precise, they call it an eat-in kitchen. I see. I understand the situation. The only one suffering ill health due to the smell is Kira, so I don't think it could be all that bad. No, if by any chance there is a risk to dorm student life, this could be this could interfere with your operation. You have a new mission, Pixie Team. Find the cause of this offensive odour. If it's dangerous, get rid of it at once. Roger. But there's just one tiny problem. We don't have a sense of smell. How are we meant to find it? Your spaceship has a function that can analyse scent particles in the air. You should use that. We have to use a machine? At this rate, I'll never be able to find out what Camipon smells like. Um, what was that? Just our usual stupidity. Let's go, B. Yep, you got it. Time to rummage through the girls' rooms for a change of pace. Focus on the mission, stupid. Oh, there's some definitely some, some tension and chemistry between them two. Mission start. I might just do this one and then leave it after this because there's just so much talking. So we've got to find the sense of smell. So we're we actually going to be flying a ship around these rooms, I wonder. Uh, we need to go to Kira's, don't we? Because it was Kira's room that they said the smell. In. I think. Look at me get my detective on. See, I've been playing Sinking City lately, you see. Uh, Miss Misa said the smell was all over the dorm. Yes, although there must be places where the smell is stronger or weaker. Do you think we could extract the information from the Tori sisters? If we can figure out a rough location, then even we should be able to pin it down. Can't we just get the machine to analyse how strong the smell is? This machine is only able to analyse what a smell is. Particles linger all throughout the air, so it's difficult to trace them back to the source. So in the end, we still have to go looking for ourselves. The commander's a big dummy. He really didn't think this through. Make sure you never say that where he can hear it. Well, anyway, I don't know where Miss Kira and Miss Misa are, but we have all we have to do is shoot them with happy bullets to get the information. This is going to be so much fun! I will try and remember not to mix pleasure with work, or do I need to teach you that physically? <gasps> physically? Well, if it's in a way that feels good, then... Ow, 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 ow. My arm isn't supposed to bend that way. Do you get it now, b -tan? Yes, ma'am. Totally, ma'am. I give in, I give in. Please, I'll focus on the mission. Poor b -tan. I mean, she's a, she's a creepy perv, but but you you can't help but feel sorry for her a bit. I have no idea how old these lot are supposed to be. I mean, the, the students are obviously supposed to be like unis. Oh god, students there. Right. So I need to. Oh hello, collectibles, number, name, and contents. I mean, there's not a lot of detail in the rooms, but and I don't know what these things do. I mean, there's obviously a 
a reason. Nice. And there's obviously a purpose for collecting them. I assume they're probably just to buy outfits or something suitably creepy like that. Did I miss one? I did. So am I? I am supposed to be shooting her then, aren't I? Sentences you don't expect to hear. What the hell? Okay, hang on. Huh? Nice. 1,400. I wonder if that's. I wonder if that's enough to buy anything. Now the camera doesn't always turn. It's a little bit odd. How do I get up there? Huh? Nope. Oh, hang on. How do I? How do you? There we go. Oh, you can search as well. Nope. I'm gonna leave those coins. I'm not too fussed about them. I said search. <gasps> This looks like it'd be really handy for playing hide and seek. Uh, if you ever try and skip out, if you ever try and skip out on a mission before I can, oh, I can find you instantly with my scope. Doesn't look like she responded well to me saying we can skip out together. Be damn! Get your mind on the mission. Um, so do I need? To, okay, do I need to get up onto there? Am I just supposed to shoot her? Okay. Well, I'll just keep. Blaze it away for a little bit. Okay, I don't know what that's... Oh, I see. There's a little counter around the gun that shows how long it takes to reload. There we go. I did, I'm pretty sure they did say we had to do this, didn't we? Because it said all to do is shoot them and they'll give us the information or something like that. Oh, God. There's that face again. Whoopagi. Why do I feel so good all of a sudden? I'm not even bothered by the smell anymore. Actually, maybe it's just that smell's not very strong in my room. Ah! Miss Kira says the smell isn't very strong in her room. That's good information to help us narrow down the source. Interesting! Okay, so... Okay, it, very basic detective work. I see. So we just kind of shoot them and use the clues that they do. So we have to have a look in one of the other rooms. Okay. I thought Kira was the one... Oh no, it wasn't Kira that was barfing, was it? Oh. Run away! There is no little pixies here, I promise. Charge up. I hope they replenish. So I need to leave and go to a different room. Go. More coins! Yeah, the camera's a little bit... Possibly a little bit too close to... You see, like that sort of thing. Nope. It literally won't let me look behind. Okay, leave room. So we'll try one of the other rooms. So it's not in Kira's room. I thought Kira was the one vomiting, but maybe not. If it is vom, I don't even know if it is. It's got to be this one, then. Oh, it could be somebody in the empty room, I guess. How would we... Have we got to check sinks and toilets and things for signs of... Signs of someone vomiting? I found a chunk of chunder. Oh, God. We can't exclude Miss Amaya from our investigation. Do you mean to say Miss Amaya might be hiding something? Aren't you interested in seeing how Miss Amaya is going to pant when we shoot her with our happy bullets? We're starting the mission. Whoa, so cold. I'm taking this seriously too, you know. Jeez. Then stop making stupid jokes. Honestly, make sure to pay attention to your remaining happy bullets. Don't fire recklessly. Where is she? Oh, I see her. I mean, the, actually, the jumping isn't as quite as... Oh, God, janky as I thought. However... Okay, we don't need that. Let me just grab these. Coin. Be quiet. <laughs> be quiet. Be quiet. Oh, hello. There's all these as well. Because I know that obviously the Senra and Kangura series there's quite a lot of games now. I mean, this isn't part of that, but I know there are a lot in them. I think I've got yeah, I've got a Senra and Kangura Peach Beach Splash on the channel. <laughs> Flip an egg. Nope. You've got to be really close to the edge to be able to. There we go. Oh God. See if you fall off here. It'd be quite irritating, but anyway. Really? Oh, God. <laughs> Go on, Bennett. So twitchy, the movement. No! Where did I land? Oh, I'm on the lower bunk. Boobs. Kind. Kind. Nice. Actually saved oh, a tiny bit of... It's so sensitive, the movement on this. Saved a bit of time, nope, doing that. Literally, I'm hardly touching the, the stick on the pro controller. And she's like, pelting across the room. So am I supposed to shoot, oh, gold one. Am I supposed to shoot her as well? Get on the thingy. Okay, so if I shoot her, will she tell me something? Reload, ah, oh, tits. I'm gonna need more ammo, I think, before long. Oh, you can just hold the button, fair enough. 
Reload. Do I get, because I'm playing as B-Tan, do I get to change to Camo at any point? Okay. Fwayayan. Okay, why not? What is this feeling? I feel so good and so light, like I'm floating. Eee, I guess the diet, the diet, yeah, she's dieting. Is it her that's, that's chundering everywhere? Is that all she has to say? What about the smell? She's only talking about her diet. Guess she has no info. Wait up, Cammy Pong. We've got plenty of information. What was that? Do you actually manage to get some information? I didn't out of... I didn't out of what she just said. Getting to see Mr. Mara's face melting in pleasure is more than enough information for me. Oh, oh that's what you mean. Stare as much as you want, then. Guess my joke wasn't as funny as I thought. Okay, interesting. Well, that doesn't give us a lot of extra info, does it? Hmm. <clears throat> I think I'm supposed to be using the scope a bit more. Where the hell are we now? Am I still in the same room? Hang on, let me just grab some. Charge up. Job. Oh, lower bodies. Is she? Is she done? Yeah, she's done. Stick a fork in her. She's done. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Because am I supposed to try the other room? Let's grab these coins. <laughs> Kindly look away from. Get off the thingy! No! Get off the. Get up! Yeah, probably. She can't. Oh! Can't bloody climb! Um. What am I supposed to do? Because I can't see a toilet in here. I'm just thinking if she has been. If she has been. Oh, hello. Gold coin in there. I see ya. Unless she has been yakking. Oh, hello. That's a massive plant. No, we're just small. Are you sure? I mean, this might be a plant that's super massive on Earth, too. You might be right, actually. The leaves look big enough to stand on. Nice. So it's our platform thing. Oh, this is going to be... No, oh, God. Yeah, oh, yes, she made it. Sweet. Is that PC knackered or something? The screen looks broken. Can't get any... Oh, I can get higher. No! <laughs> I hate the jumping in this. Hang on. How the hell that counted? I don't know. It's really difficult to judge how far you've jumped forward on this. Is she just going to stay... Bloody hell, in that seat. I really don't want to fall now. Is there actually anything up here? Yeek! That was... Oh my god. I don't think there's anything bloody up here, is there? Air conditioner. No! I didn't even know that was a thing. Search. Hello, there's something there, I think. Will I die if I leap off this? That was a photo. Is there a zoom in this? There is. Oh, God. It's so sensitive. Twice. Oh, hang on. Switch displays. Okay. There's something in that bin. Hang on. Uh, we Ouch! Will she hear me at this close range? How do I... It's going to be difficult getting into that bin, isn't it? No. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Uh, okay. Can I get up that... Tits! I was going to say, can I get up that high? Yeah, sort of. I need to be on this chair, somehow. Oh, can I grapple onto that? Or something? Nope. I don't know what that thing does. Can I... Oh, there's like a fine aim. No, that doesn't do anything. I like the way it turns into feathers afterwards. Oh, what was this thing? Because when I went to scope... Yeah, there. It's like a... Oh, oh, oh. Get up. To Earth things, this must seem normal size. Uh, right, though, to us it's big enough to hide a storehouse. Okay, that's not important. I need to, I need to get onto her desk without alerting her. Right, I'm gonna edit this out because it's gonna take me ages to get up there. Okay, we're here. Apparently, it doesn't. Um... Where's the bin? Nice. Oh, there's nothing in there. Boobs. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we'll try the other room, the empty room. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing in there. More coins, of course. 
again i don't think they're really massively worthwhile but anyway right so we'll leave we'll leave this room and we get to choose the other one. Oh no we can't okay we've changed characters and we're going to give this one a go instead i've come into the other room it's difficult i'm struggling to find what the evidence we're looking for here let's see what she says fumiayo eureka i've got it that darn smell i knew it smelled strongest in Amaya's room but why is that maybe she's been hiding some really sweet candy to cheat on her diet ah so we need to go to Amaya's room we're getting close to the source uh, but what's with this feeling? I just can't seem to settle down. Is it just excitement? No, I feel sort of itchy. Okay, she's got fleas. Those happy bullets are scary things. Miss Misa is so cool. I love the way she can't fight back against the happy bullets. It's really cute and maybe even a little stimulating. Don't you start blushing too. Let's go. Uh, no, that's not it. I think I'll have to play one of my adult games. Wait, camera pod. I have a feeling something great is about to happen. I'm not waiting. We need to go. No, Camipon, you meanie! Ah, uh, we've all been in that situation. Right, so we need to go to Thingy's room. Was it Amaya's room? I think, I can't remember. And so they said the, the smell is strongest in there, okay. Oh, God. Oh! She's pretty close. She's pretty close. Okay, we'll have to try and... Am I supposed to be still in here, or...? Yeah, I said change Pixie just to just to give give this one a go. Oh, that's so annoying that like you can't get up that bit. But anyway. Also, there seem to be these little points that I think I'm supposed to interact with, but I can't work out how. Anyway, let's, I'll show you what I mean. I'll sh I'll show you exactly what I mean. But I've tried pressing buttons. They tend to be on the edges of things that I can't quite get to. Oh, hello. What did I say? Mad Madarim. Okay, I can't read that. Anyway, so I go. Yeah, this. Like, what does this do? Anyway, I don't know, God knows, but anyway. Yeah, I think we are, I think we do have to go to um, Amaya's room. There's no point, I can't get her anymore, can I? She's, yeah, she's already been 100%ed. Okay. Okay, we'll just try and steer out the way as best we can. Run away. Leave room, leave room. Okay, so is that unlocked the middle room then? Was the middle room Amaya's? Oh. Oh, okay, we're done. That was that was basically that. Four hundred. What we do? Is he gonna let us save? Yes, save. Okay, we're gonna leave it there for the moment. Um, I will carry on and finish this first mission. Certainly, it's a very it's a, a bit of a, a cringy game, but it, I mean, it's entertaining. I mean, I guess in a way. But um, yes, I'll do a little bit more of this just to say just to try and finish this first mission um, before things start getting too heavy as apparently they do. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this part. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you again very soon.